being an indian it is a very hard commitment to live without sugar because we have surrounded ourselves with it i guarantee you just look around in your house in your fridge your kitchen you will find it and look at our association from the very beginning of our life we are brought up this way if the child cries then we give them some toffee candy or something sweet to make them feel good if he receives some good news then we send laddus and other sweets to our relatives my child is passed with 95% and i have some sweets for you in all of our shadis and parties the dessert counter is a must with a minimum of four items on the menu ice cream gulab jamun jellies custard cakes and a lot more we celebrate sugar every time everywhere when i say sugar it is all refined sugar which you all know about it is detrimental but still we let it go we choose taste over healthy living wait am i saying if you consume sugar daily you are not healthy yes i am there are two main types of sugar in the human diet naturally occurring sugar and added sugar you can consume sugars already found in natural foods like fruits and milk but not added sugar in processed or prepared foods and drinks this is what i'm going to be warning you about now if you're deciding to cut back on your added sugar intake it's no easy task however the benefits of cutting out sugar may include improved oral and heart health weight reduction and much much more if you want to control it you must save cookies candies and bakery items only for special occasions once a month small portion is okay now in your daily use limit the sugar in your coffee tea or any other beverages that you make in fact i personally don't add any sugar at all because that eliminates 4 to 5 teaspoons a day of sugar now skip any product that lists sugar among its first 5 ingredients so look at the label these days packaged food companies have become smarter they are adding agents of sugars in the ingredients and even though it's mentioned the aam aadmi does not know their names and keeps consuming these products don't worry this is why you follow me what i'm going to do is in the description i have made a list of harmful ingredients that you should be avoiding when you go for shopping at the grocery stores now please save this list and compare them with the ingredients on the products and see what all products contain first sugars in hidden forms or even the word added sugar you will be surprised and this is where your awareness can get you to the next level just be aware of what you're buying in packaged foods have you ever wondered what would happen if you completely gave up sugar for 2 weeks well let me tell you about it number 1 the first thing that you will notice is the changes in your face the puffiness goes down and your midsection will become less puffy less bloated your face will go from being round to a leaner face and you'll see the same transformation and i can promise you in your midsection this happens because your liver starts releasing fat when you cut out sugar your body is forced to burn fat for a fuel as sugar and fat are the only two fuel sources in your body that is being used so now you know why your jawline has gone for a toss with so much of sugar you might notice this change faster because our diet often includes a lot of sugars in hidden forms like in drinks chutneys ketchups and curries avoiding sugar in your chai or skipping mitais can make a huge visible difference in your appearance the second thing that you will notice is that the organ function improves our four main organs that definitely benefit from cutting out sugar are the eyes the kidneys your pipelines or arteries and definitely your brain these changes will be visible to you in a few days to a few weeks in your eyes you will see that your vision will begin to improve and you will experience less blurriness your kidney function will improve as sugar induced inflammation drops trips to the loo will actually decrease as this is my personal experience now arteries are the pipelines in our body which carry vital nutrition via blood it carries oxy- oxygen also the inflammation in your arteries definitely reduce science has proved this and it also improves your overall cardiovascular health 
Now, we all know that the brain is the most important organ in the human body for processing. The way we behave, the way we think, the way we sleep, the way whatever we do is governed by our brain. Sugar is one of the primary fuels in the brain, but too much of sugar can dull the brain. You know, when you drop sugar, your cognitive function, which is your ability to process tasks, will be enhanced. And this results better memory, focus and mood. You can actually see this in children when you give them too much of sugar they actually cannot focus on a task. And when you take away sugar, they actually become quieter, more focused, and have better memories. Now, given that our diet is rich in sugary drinks like sweet lassi, fruit juices, and sharbats, now reducing sugar could lead to significant improvements in these areas. But the choice is really tough because sugar on your taste buds is a real temptation. Now, if you remove sugar, I can promise you, you might notice fewer sugar crashes and better concentration during work or study. The first three to four days will be difficult, but as you eliminate sugar, you will see the brain fog clearing by day five. So trust me on this, eliminate sugar. It's a little tough journey for the first three days, but you get better then. Now, another part is better sleep. I've had so many clients in our clinic telling me that when they've take, cut out the sugar, they find themselves getting up lesser at night to pee because sugar and then the kidneys, and then the water function, and then the sleep disturbance. So sugar in your blood triggers more urination, and this happens especially at night. So cutting out sugar will actually help you sleep through the night better. So good sleep is often disrupted by our late night sweets or sugary beverages. You know, in the IPL season recently, all of us are getting up, sleeping late, and eating all of these sugars. Now, avoiding this part can lead to more restful night sleep, helping you feel more refreshed in the morning. So I suggest no more dessert ordering at night. It's the wrong time to eat something sugary. The most important point and the fourth point, increased energy. When you give up sugar, contrary to everyone's belief, lesser sugar, your body will start burning up fat as the second battery in your body. This switch will provide you with a steady energy supply throughout the entire day, eliminating the ups and downs that come with sugar consumption. When you eat something sweet, sugar goes up, then it drops, then you need more sugar, it goes up, then it drops down. Whereas fat is like a stable battery. Another thing that I've noticed is that the frequent intake of three to four times of chai or coffee can lead to energy crashes. A lot of people feel very low energy, so they switch to tea or coffee. But switching to the less sugary versions of herbal tea, black tea or green tea can provide more sustained energy helping you get through your day more efficiently. In fact, here I have a quick tip if you watch this far. Research has shown that when you take green tea or black tea, creative thinking actually gets boosted because of the theanine content in green tea or black tea. But the problem is when you add sugar to green tea or coffee, the sugar blunts the calming effects of theanine. So if I were you, I would make a lighter version of a herbal tea. Don't take your green tea and dip it and boil it for two to three minutes. Just do it five times with a tea bag or steep it for only 30 seconds and remove the tea leaves so it doesn't get bitter. So then you're not saying, oh, I need more sugar, I need more sugar, I need more sugar. Go sugarless in your herbal teas for better brain efficiency. The fifth point is reduce cravings. When you drop sugar, you will notice that your craving between meals will decrease. Without sugar, your body will use the stored fat for energy, keeping you satisfied and less hungry. In fact, I got another secret for you. You should always brush your teeth after every meal. You see, working with thousands of clients in their weight losses for movies and celebrities who are models, I ask them to brush their teeth, maybe not with toothpaste, but just with a good toothbrush or a water pick. The reason is, you know, when you eat that lunch and that piece of food remains in your teeth, at around 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, suddenly that piece of food dislodges into your mouth and you're like, the brain's like, oh, boy, I got some khana now. I got some food. So let me get hungry suddenly. So a cleaner mouth is a less hungry mouth. You could also look at chewing a sugarless gum, which can help you, you know, release more saliva, cleaning up your teeth. Now, the habit of reaching for a sweet snack between meals, like biscuits or sweets, can be reduced. So you will find it easier to stick to healthier snacks like fruits or nuts and you'll be satiated too because these are healthier and they actually fill up your tummy but they're more natural and they don't have these artificial added sugars in them. The other point is I have personally experienced this. So when I want to put on weight, I eat a lot of food and invariably there's a lot of sugar in it. 
but I get a lot of stiffness in my joints. Now, the moment you reduce sugar, you will actually experience less inflammation, pain, and stiffness. In fact, a lot of people have uric acid as an issue. And one of the conditions is everyone says, reduce your non-veg protein. But let me tell you, reducing your sugar has a more equally powerful impact on dropping your uric acid and dropping your pain, stiffness, and inflammation. This will also result in lower blood pressure. And those of you who have to take arthritic medicines or anti-inflammatory medications, just try dropping sugar from your diet for seven to eight weeks. Trust me, you will see a massive change in all the conditions in your body. Seventh, weight loss. This is what everybody on the planet comes to my clinic for. Cutting out sugar will lead to weight loss. You know this, I know this, it's common sense. But when you do this, you will get amazing results. You will lose water weight initially as your body stores the released glucose. I don't know if you know this, but one molecule of glucose stores three molecules of water in the muscle. So glycogen basically holds on to three molecules of water. So whenever people drop sugar from their diet, even for two days, they have a one to three kg weight loss because of the water retention inside of the body. So we eat a lot of carb-heavy foods in our diet. Reducing the sugar can significantly help in your weight management. You'll suddenly notice that the clothes are getting to fit better and there is a decrease in belly fat. Point number eight. This is something that every Bollywood celebrity or superstar has asked me. Can you improve my skin condition? Yes, by reducing sugar, there's reduction in acne, dermatitis. The overall decrease in inflammation will actually make your skin look glowy, healthier, and less puffy. The high glycemic index of many Indian sweets can actually lead to skin problems. Cutting out sugar can result in clearer skin and a more radiant complexion. In fact, I challenge you, go for a 14-day sugar reduction. No sugar at all. You may feel difficult in the first three to five days, but just take pictures every day and watch your skin begin to glow with every photograph. Same time of the day, maybe nine o'clock in the morning in a balcony, not direct sunshine, but ambient sunshine. Take a photograph and then track yourself for 14 days because this is one sure shot way to convince your taste buds that you actually become more radiant and more beautiful when you avoid sugar. And my last point, which actually should be my first point, improved insulin resistance. Now, we all know that insulin helps control your sugar levels. Too much of insulin is detriment to your health. Lesser the insulin and more powerful the insulin, that is the insulin sensitivity, should be improved. But guess what? When you feed your body too much of sugar, insulin kind of gets bored of you and starts secreting more insulin. And that's called insulin resistance. By cutting out sugar, you will reduce the resistance, allowing your body to absorb essential nutrients better and improve your overall health. In fact, too much of insulin resistance also causes the body to store more fat. Now, with rising cases of diabetes in India and we being the diabetic capital of the world, improving insulin sensitivity is crucial. Avoiding sugary foods can help manage and actually prevent diabetes, leading to better overall health. So if you're considering giving up sugar, start immediately. The benefits are truly remarkable, from better sleep and energy to improved organ function and even weight loss. Your body is going to thank you for it. If you found this information helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more health tips. Hey, and I have an interesting idea. Whenever I take up something, I rope my friends in. Could you tag three of your friends and then the four of you together could give up sugar maybe for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks? You know what? Do it as a team. And when you do this, tag me, Ryan Nutrition Coach, on my Instagram profile and share with me how you are giving up sugar or what are you doing to change your health for the better as you get on this journey together as friends.